The following YouTube video has been screened, monitored, and recorded by the NSA. Hello, Sky Streak with you. I thought about making this video and just gearing it toward uh, the unaware sheeple, if you will, because that's the term everybody uses. But I thought, okay, you know, I, I'm always confronted with, with the ones that uh, are like, none of this is true. The stuff that you tell us is not true. I trust my government. I can't believe you're telling me this. Okay, this is geared towards you, those kind of people. All right, well, I can go on and on and on, but let's start with one topic in particular. Chemtrails. Okay, if you are, say, within your mid-30s to mid-40s, and you remember looking up into the sky and seeing those short little bursts of trails behind the jet airliners as they cruised wherever they were cruising, you will have noticed that those trails were, you know, uh, in perception to the human eye, about an inch to two inches long, and they would dissipate as the plane continued its flight path. Now, today in America, we have contrails once in a while, but usually you see the long trail across the sky, sometimes forming grid patterns that you can play tic-tac-toe on. And as you watch these trails, if you look up into the sky ever, you'll notice that they descend and don't dissipate. And poof, they're gone, right? Well, let's hope so. Yeah, out on the farm, I see them all the time, Sky Streak. I see them cruising across the sky and crisscrossing each other. Sometimes I even see a couple that kind of go in loop-de-loops. Not your typical flight pattern. But yeah, I see them, and it's weird. It's making my chickens sick. And I haven't seen any turkeys around for a while. Real long while. Oh, yes. I know. So, that's one thing to start with. And I could get into 9-11 if you all want, but uh, that might be too much for most of you to wrap your head around. Okay, let's move along. Let's go to fluoridated water. Sodium fluoride, which is in your tap water in your local community in various amounts has been proven to cause many different kinds of cancers. Now back in the 50's when the uh, FDA approved sodium fluoride for better dental health everybody was like yeah sounds like a great idea and ever since nobody's done any conclusive study to determine if sodium fluoride is harmful to you. That's worth looking into, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, boss, he's still up to his old games. Trying to spread all this conspiracy theory. I don't really think people are buying it. At least I hope not. <laughs> okay, let's move on to another topic. Let's go with Monsanto. What? Yes, Monsanto, the company, the huge corporation that dominates and genetically modifies our food source up to 85% at least... What's GMO? Genetically 
modified organism. In your local grocer, if you buy organic bananas, they will have a 9 in the UPC label following four digits or five. If you have one that starts with a four, it's GMO'd. Loaded with pesticides that can kill you over a slow period of time. Still tastes the same, looks brilliant in color, but loaded with pesticides like Roundup, your everyday use gardening tool for keeping your garden green, right? Yeah, but it's a chemical and it still produces harm to you. Yeah, you know, I did an experiment. <clears throat> I took some genetically modified seeds and some organic seeds and I grew two rows of each last last uh, last planting season and uh, <coughs> I uh, after the stocks were picked I took one of the GMO'd ones versus the uh, organically produced one and I set them side by side out in my barn and I left them there over the winter time and when I came back four months later the uh, organic corn was eaten completely almost and the GMO corn wasn't even touched, so huh, makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yes, it does make you wonder. Just like the little lollipop sucker sweetened with no sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and other artificial ingredients laid upon a sidewalk and the ants walk around it won't even touch it hmm can you say aspartame so I don't want to overload your feeble little illusionistic indoctrinated minds about things you should be paying attention to so I'm just throwing it out there for all of you that are still watching this video. Most of you who do watch my videos already know that what I speak of has some truth behind it, I should hope. Otherwise, if you're starting to pick your head a little bit and wonder what I'm talking about, do some research. I'm not going to leave any links below. I'm going to leave it up to you. I had to do it that way. I found all of my information from legitimate sources. Believe it or not, nothing on CNN, MSNBC, or Fox News taught me what I know today. Surprise, surprise! This is Sky Streak. Peace. And I'm out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't, didn't you say his password was encrypted? I can't find it anywhere. Fuck, there's uh, millions of people to go through here. I, I don't know if I'll ever find him. I don't do we have enough drones in America and uh, across the Middle East to cover all this territory? I'm starting to think we don't have the resources, boss. I'm getting a little bit scared. Those people got guns out there, boss. And they're going to get us eventually. We can't keep the fear factor going for very much longer. We just can't do it, boss. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I just, I just, I don't know, boss. I just, I just don't know, boss. I, I don't know, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Fuck you, NSA.